Our thermal fleece has arrived. We just need to sort out all the wiring and we can uh, start insulating the van. Exciting times. Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Tanya. Back in the land before COVID, we were climbing and outdoor enthusiasts. We would spend every moment of our busy London lives travelling to wonderful places for adventure. We never believed the party would end. It didn't work out that way though. The world had other ideas for everyone and it's fair to say COVID-19 has life on hold for us all. We went from working and climbing 24-7 to couch potatoes. This led to days spent talking and dreaming about converting a van. Where would we go, how would we build it and would it be full time? We started sketching ideas out on paper and that was it. We were getting a van. Come and join us on our new adventure of building our dream home on wheels and learn with us how it's done. Right, today's project, I am fixing our shoddy workmanship on that uh, edge here where um, it's not particularly that straight or, um, or neat. We just faffed so much with it. It took so long and it was freezing. Yeah, it was hard work. And snowy, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a messy job. Just trying to align the edges. That's my job for the afternoon. And then Tanya is going to... Fleece! Yeah. So Fleece the van. Stuffing it all into the little nooks and crannies. Um, uh, once we get that done, we're going to then start wiring the inside now that we've got the panels on the roof. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. Bit of thermal line if we've got the time for it. Hmm. Hopefully. Conceal it all. Um, we'll see how much we get done. See how much we get done. All right. This is where I'm at with our uh, edge on the bulkhead. So I'm going to find a piece of wood or something to sort of go over that, and then I'll probably remove material to make it fit. But for now, I've neatened it up a hell of a lot and taken a lot back. So once I find something can can make it fit, I'll go from there. I'm joining Fleece Gang. Um, <laughs> I was going to keep that there. Did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was like, you know, it's not the same anymore. Done. It's yours. Ow. Right. Are you... Go do that. Right, I think I'm going to do some more of this. Those two off cuts you chucked up there, can I have them? Um, do you want to do you want to do these big voids? These yeah, bits, that's what yeah? I'm doing. You're yeah. going to do that bit, fine. We'll you do that, there. I'll carry on poking in here, and then okay. after I do that, I'm going to tackle the ceiling, which is going to be funny as hell. <laughs> I think it's going to be really frustrating. You want to spray the adhesive while I'm not standing directly under it? <laughs> can you go directly underneath it? And we'll just stick you to the ceiling. No. Decent all in his beard and face. 
fleece on the roof and it kind of gives a good representation go up kind of gives a good representation of like where our ceiling's going to be um it's all of a sudden made the van feel a lot lower like that feeling of sort of less space is starting to creep in now that we're sort of filling all this out popcorn and tea break Mm -hmm. right. I have flea stuck to my fingers. Greedy. We had some technical difficulties with a few audio clips and the audio just drops out on our uh, videos. But essentially what I'm saying here is, up here is a shelf. We're going to make it into a shelf by using this shelf here. I'm going to just like put my hand here and Tanya's going to tap it, tap, tap. That makes sure that it's the shelf you see. I just drew my finger under here because this is slice, slice, touchy finger under here. So then that will happen. Um, and then we can make this into a shelf. I've got this tool here and run my finger under here again for fingering the, the, the shelf. Tanya's obviously saying something about up here you can store things and then this will get sliced and put my hand here slice all very technical really that's about it and Tanya waved goodbye look at that good weather sun's out clouds blue sky and we're on cloud nine right now because the inside looks like clouds today is a bit of a don't know how we're gonna do this day we are doing the electrics wiring um, so we, what we're trying to do is we're trying to wire everything up before installing anything so that we can hide all the cables that power everything behind our walls so that is our plan right now so we're just working out how to do it and we'll show you how we're gonna do it once we've worked it out we'll show you the plan here's the plan I'm saying after we've gone through the plan and now you've gone here's the plan <laughs> after I've just lied <laughs> you can just go for that <laughs> all right it's the last couple of hours of the day and I'm setting myself up for a little job that I will continue with tomorrow Alex is wiring up the lights so I'm gonna prepare the ceiling. So once the wires are all up for the lights, we can start putting the ceiling up. And we have, I'll share some details as to the materials that we've got for the ceiling, which is the, the same cladding that we're using for the walls. It feels quite light and flimsy, but essentially it's kind of just decorative. And they are from B&Q. Um, 7.5 millimeters thick. So, I've done a bit of research on what kind of oils I'm going to use, and I've gone with Osmo because they are quite a natural, non toxic brand, quite good quality. And we've got a dark cognac, which I will show you once I test that out for the ceiling and then a contrasting white finish for the walls. We've got to prep the wood, which involves a bit of sanding. Um, so you've got a really smooth grain and you sort of don't get discoloration, not discoloration, but like uneven tones in the wood. Um, and it's nice and smooth. This is the sandpaper that I got, which is from Bosch and it is, 240 grit and 125 millimeter diameter which is going to fit this this uh, sander here <laughs> This is 
my wonderful table building for Tanya's uh, paint station. It works perfect. You're welcome. Knock, knock. Right, what do you want? Um, a sponge. Yeah, what are these things? I know there's loads of sponges. What's wrong with that one? Well, it's getting... It's not really a sponge, isn't that just styrofoam? Yeah. But this is the best thing to use for it. Okay. First bit of thermo liner in. For God's sakes. Nice and space age. Yeah. So what I've done is I've put masking tape on the back of these to attach them together on either side so that I can sand them all together without them all moving apart and I can get the job done much quicker. This is our paint shop. I'm sanding, tan's painting. We're gonna bash this out and this will be the ceiling finale. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. down class. Listen up. Right, come on then. Welcome to Tanya's 101 Wax On Wax Off. Wax On Wax Off. Yeah, just like that. So, first thing you want to do, pop your gloves on. Get I've, got, I've got my gloves on. Right, so you take a piece of a plank of, a, cla a piece of cladding which has been nice, nicely sanded. By me, I did that. You did some. Right, I next, did it all. <laughs> a slightly damp cloth. I don't and have you, one of them. We're going to share. Right. It's ever so slightly damp, not damp. You just wipe it down to get rid of all of the fine dust. Pick that all up. It's going to be a long night. There you go. <laughs> right, second. Yep. So, you yep. don't apply it with a brush, you massage it in um, with a non abrasive sponge. I haven't got one here. Well, we've got one here. Look at that. Styrofoam. Right. <laughs> non abrasive. Right. So, so what's we, the apply, brush for? we apply our wood wax finish mm -hmm. with the brush because. On the tongue and groove edge, you want to get into the corners, and if you start using this, you'll start ripping it to pieces, and then a little bit of plastic will get on there and stuff. But also, it's good for getting in the corners. So you start by going around. You just complete the edges with a brush like that. You massage it in. Right. And what you want is a tiny dab, tiny weeny dab, because how's that? Yeah. What you do is the, the most tiniest weeniest dab will stretch and go so far, like. Honestly. So, um, You've got this whole area done just by a tiny bit. Let me see. No, put it down. Don't hold it. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're putting loads on there. Yeah. And you just keep bringing it along. But make sure you brush. Yeah, brush them more off there so you don't need any. It just needs to seep into the wood and come off. So yeah, I start by doing the tongue and groove edge because by then you get loads on the main bit of the padding and then what's already on there 
You can already start to work it. But well, you got more on it just... than I did. Yeah, because I... It's not working. No. Alex, look, okay, look, let me show you. Well, what you the... No, 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 you don't need more. Look, okay, look, we've got loads on here. Well, you didn't tell me to do that. Well, you only because just... you've got loads on that I'm taking it off. Making it up as you go along. No, I'm not, look. Well, it, it goes really far. Right. And then you start working that in. And make sure you touch up on these edges as you go. So go in a circular motion from one end to another. With the brush or the No, thing? no, no, with the thing there. We've got plenty on there. We made a lot of progress this week and it feels amazing. I cannot wait to start putting our walls and ceiling in. If you enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if this is your first time on our channel, why not catch up on this build and watch it from the start? See you next week. Thank you.